Okay, here is version two of my automated uh, gyro toy. And in this one, I added a potentiometer to the uh, Arduino so that I could vary the uh, amount of time it delays or just sits up here uh, from zero to two seconds. <clears throat> and so right now it's sitting on zero. Um, and uh, if I start it at zero, nothing happens. So I will change it and set it up to uh, to I'll set it up to two seconds. Here's what happens in two seconds. So, it's not working. Gets out of sync. So, I will change it to... Uh, let me see... 1556. So one and a half seconds. Working a little better, but still stalls. So I'm going to reduce it a little more. 1.3 seconds. Just starts working. really slow cycle. Now I'll gradually reduce it. There's one second. Much better. Keep reducing it. 9.9 seconds. Point eight three seconds. Point six nine. Much more efficient. Point five seconds. I think it's starting to cycle a little slower. Point four seven. Point four seven. It starts to fail. <laughs> Actually, re reverse direction, and now it's faster than ever. Second, point four two seconds. That's the fastest, except at reverse direction. Pretty cool. Point three seven seconds. cooking now. Point two eight four seconds. And starts to fail. And fail. So what was happening there? I have no idea. At one point it was getting more efficient in the counterclockwise direction 
And then as I got faster, or reduced the time to 0.4 seconds, it uh, reversed direction and became much more efficient. So I'll have to look at that a little bit. Anyway, version 2 with a potentiometer which varies the delay time, the amount of time it sits up here before it comes back down from 0 to 2 seconds. So counterclockwise, most efficient about 0.5 seconds and clockwise the most efficient for the throw uh, about 0.47 seconds. Over.